Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Teresa, this is Lost My Thread. Today I want to share with you my plans and my personal pledge for Me Made May this year. For anybody who is not familiar with Me Made May, it was started by Zoe of Sozo Blog. She had a blog called Sozo What Do You Know? She now also has a podcast called Check Your Thread. She's all around the sewing community, but Zoe started this challenge as a personal challenge initially to try and wear her Me Made clothes more and improve her relationship with her Me Made wardrobe. Over time that has really developed and she very much encourages people now to make more of a personal pledge of whatever is going to help them improve their relationship with the clothes that they've made. Over the past couple of years, I've really focused on refashions. I've made videos throughout the past two months of May. I'll put a link to those playlists if you haven't seen those videos, where I did a whole variety of upcycles, alterations, mending jobs on clothes that I've made, including this jumpsuit that I'm wearing today. But actually, what I was hoping would come from that has worked out that I've kind of incorporated that more into my just normal everyday mindset. And when I make something now and I'm not 100% happy with it, I'm more likely to then try and make it work at that time rather than just leave it and wait and then eventually get around to doing something to make it more wearable. So it didn't really seem like it made sense to continue along that vein for this year. So I'm very much going with what I feel like I could personally use the most in my Me Made wardrobe. There are two key things that I'm gonna focus on this year. Let me tell you about them. The first part of my personal pledge is all around sewing with my scrap fabrics. Now I did talk about this in March in my Sew Frugal Challenge. I really wanted to try and work through some of my scraps because I have overflowing scrap bins. These are the bins that I have. They're not massive, they're like a good medium size. I have two for woven, two for knit, but they were both overflowing and I didn't have room for more scraps. And every new project I was creating more scraps. And so I did work through a lot of those in Sew Frugal Challenge and I'm really happy with the things that I made. And I got to a point now where I have four bins that I can fit a little more fabric into. So I have some wiggle room, but honestly to me that's still not good enough. What I would love to do by the end of May is to get down to one woven scrap bin and one jersey scrap bin. I appreciate that is super ambitious and maybe not very likely that I'll achieve it, but you know, you gotta aim for high because you never know what you're gonna achieve. I'm gonna be putting out a video next week where I will be sharing the ideas that I have for what I'm gonna do with these scraps. I did talk through a lot of that in Sew Frugal, but honestly, there were restrictions from the Sew Frugal challenge that I'm happy to be free of. I don't have to use free sewing patterns. I can make garments, but also I can make accessories. I can make home decor items. So I'm really excited to tell you guys all the ideas that I have for using up a bit more of my scraps throughout the month of May. I feel like it's kind of good housekeeping. I'm kind of dealing with the the rubbish, the junk, the trash from the fabric that I've been using, and then I can move forward and feel a little bit more fresh going forward. The other part of my personal pledge is focusing really around my wardrobe and my relationship toward it. I am somebody who is pretty reflective just in general in my life, and I try to incorporate that into my sewing practice. I make seasonal roundup videos where I look at what I've been wearing the previous season, pick out things that are missing from my wardrobe, and incorporate all that into my plans going forward. I also look at things that I make and what I'm enjoying making, what I'm enjoying wearing, but I feel like it's kind of piecemeal and all over the place. And what I really wanna do is try and like round all that up and just make it a little bit more cohesive and coherent and help me to figure out what it is really that I'm hoping to get from my wardrobe, what I'm looking for, where I want it to go. There are a number of approaches you can take to do this, and what I've been doing is doing a bit of research around and kind of pulling out my favorite bits, and that's what I'm gonna be working through in May. So I've got some workbooks. I've got the Me Made May workbook, which you can download from Zoe. It's not very expensive, you can download it. If you really can't afford to pay for it, you can email her and she'll also give it to you free, but I wanna support her, so I did pay for that. I have also got the Seamwork Wardrobe Planner, and this is meant to accompany the Design Your Wardrobe course that they do, but Seamwork also have videos on YouTube and podcast videos, podcast episodes, where they go through this in a bit of detail. So honestly, you could just download this. This is a freebie that you get from Seamwork, and then you can just work through it alongside their other content. Or 
There's also the Create Your Dream Wardrobe Workbook from Love to Sew. This is another free one. So I'll be putting links down below if you wanna access these things yourself to tell you where you can find them. This is, I would say, a bit more detailed than the others. And this is one that I've done in the past as well. Now, I will say that all three of them really, they are slightly different from each other, but they all really should be going back and giving a big old thank you to The Curated Closet by Anushka Reese. So I will say, I, there's no doubt in my mind that all three of these were heavily influenced by this book. So this is a book, it's not a workbook. I got it on eBay, not very expensive, but it is, a lot more detail is what I would say. And this book I would say is great if you are somebody who feels like you've got tons of clothes in your wardrobe, but you go to get dressed in the morning and you feel like you have nothing to wear, or you just don't know what to put on, you're really unhappy with your wardrobe. That's not strictly me, to be completely honest. So I feel like this book isn't especially for me, but I like that it goes into a bit more detail in some of the elements that are mentioned in these other workbooks. And I basically, I, I've read this book, I've read these workbooks, and I've put together a plan for myself of how I'm going to try and figure out what's in my wardrobe, what I would like to be in my wardrobe, and how to get there. And I'm gonna talk to you guys along the process week by week in May. I'm gonna give a brief breakdown of the things I'm planning to cover each week, but of course there will be much more detail in the videos. And I will also be putting some information in my community tab to follow along each video if you want to follow and do the same with your own wardrobe. The first video in this series is gonna come out the first weekend in May, which is the 4th and 5th of May. And that is all about assessing my current style. So I will be looking at the clothes that I have in my wardrobe, but importantly, I'm gonna be taking photos of everything that I'm wearing for the next two weeks. So from now until that weekend, taking a photo of everything I wear. So in Me Made May, a lot of people take outfit photos, especially if they're wearing clothes that they made. And I have done that in the past. I'm not doing that this May because I'm really doing it in the lead up to and for me it's going to be basic mirror selfie nothing exciting I'm not showing you guys these photos it's more for myself and importantly the key difference for me is I'm going to take photos of everything that I'm wearing not just one cute outfit that I'm wearing in the day I want photos of my loungewear my sleepwear what I'm wearing to exercise, like what I'm actually wearing on the day to day, because I want my wardrobe to be able to reflect all the sides of me and all the uses that I have for my clothes. So in that video, I'm going to be looking at what I wore, what I really liked, what I didn't like, picking out common themes, and I'll be giving you some questions that you might want to ask yourself if you want to follow along and do the same. I will also be coming up with a name for my current style, a description of my current style. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you may have some ideas yourself of what my style is. It'd be really fun to hear what you guys would use to describe my style, so please put that down in the comments down below. Then for the second weekend of May, the 11th and 12th of May, I'm going to be finding inspiration for my dream wardrobe. So the idea here is to pull out images, whether that's from like a website of a clothes shop that you like, Instagram, fashion magazines. I'm gonna be looking on Pinterest and building a Pinterest board of what I feel like my kind of dream style would be and then figuring out how to describe it, how to pinpoint what that is. Again, I'll be giving you guys prompts if you wanna figure out for yourself what your dream style would be. The third weekend of May, the 18th and 19th of May, is all about kind of weighing these two ideas up against each other. So looking through my current wardrobe and seeing what fits with my dream wardrobe style, what do I maybe need to get rid of? What do I want to maybe refashion or mend if necessary? It's a good time for me because I currently have my autumn winter clothes in my wardrobe and I have my spring summer clothes tucked away in storage and I do a little bit of a seasonal swap over and this is the time I need to do it. So I can basically look through every single item in my wardrobe and come to some difficult decisions and I'll be talking you guys through that. For the fourth weekend in May, the 25th and 26th of May, it's gonna be all about planning going forward. So figuring out where there are gaps, things I might want to be making in the future. I will say this is not about just completely getting a full new wardrobe and buying loads of stuff, making all the things. It's more about thinking a little bit more proactively going forward and making sure that you're making things that you're actually gonna enjoy wearing and seeing what fits into your vision of where you would like your wardrobe to be. 
And then on the first weekend in June, the first and second of June, I feel like I have to get right to the end of May and kind of come full circle back to the reflecting. I wanna spend some time looking back on what I thought of that process. I haven't done it yet, guys, so I don't really know how it's gonna go. And I wanna assess what worked for me and what didn't work for me about this. I would love all of your feedback along the way about how the process is going for you if you do follow along with me. Now, like I said, I will be getting in much more detail of each of these topics when I work through them in each video, and I will be putting some questions and prompts in my community tab. If you are thinking you want to follow me, go along with me on this journey and evaluate your own wardrobe, figuring out your ideal wardrobe and how to get to that point, really the only thing you need to do right now is to start taking photos every day for the next two weeks. Take photos of everything that you're wearing. They don't have to be shared with anyone. You don't have to have all like fancy makeup and hair done and look glamorous. It's more just information gathering. But if you are somebody who would really love to have something physical to work through, something to maybe start thinking forward about, the one I would recommend is the Love to Sew podcast, Create Your Dream Wardrobe Workbook. I feel like this is the perfect balance of getting just what you need and not more than you need. So the Anushka Reese book is fantastic, but it's super in depth. The other two workbooks I feel like are a little bit more like on the surface. I feel like this is a really good in the middle and it's a freebie. So you get it from signing up to their email list, but if you are somebody who's already subscribed to their emails and you don't still have your copy of this or you don't think you got one, you can just email them and they'll send it to you for free. That's what I had to do because I couldn't find my old copy. So those are my two real big goals I wanna work through in May. I feel like it's a lot, but I feel like it's achievable for me. So my personal pledge is to decrease my scrap bins by half and also work through identifying my ideal dream wardrobe and how to get there. I would love to hear your thoughts on my personal pledge. If you are taking part in Me Made May, let me know what your pledge is. Feel free to hop on to the ones that I'm doing. I would love to hear updates and progress as you guys go along throughout the month of May as well. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you wanna follow along this wardrobe planning series, but also if you just wanna see other upcoming videos. I'll be seeing you again very soon with more of my scrappy sewing plans. Bye.